My topic is also a uh, book, story about my life, but I maybe I think my topic is more interesting than tea. Thank you. Good afternoon, every everybody. I'm JJ, 26 years old from Korea. I study economics in Beijing, China, and I still have two more years before graduation. I have been here in CNC for six weeks. And this Saturday, I'm leaving. Uh, six week period, period is very short for studying English. Uh, nevertheless, I learned a lot of things. So much for small talk, let's get down on my story. 2012 summer, I started my English journey in Iloilo, Philippines. Actually, I studied English for 12 years uh, when I was in Korea, but after graduating from high school, I stopped my English study. Uh, somebody asked me why I didn't continue my English studies after graduation. Uh, it is because I kept my eye on the university entrance examination, in which I failed on the first take. I then prepared for another year to take the exam again. Fortunately, I ripped what I have sown. Uh, my major was <laughs> my major was Russian. <laughs> after after two years of study, I was uh, conscripted in the military service. Uh, these instances hindered me from studying English. Uh, since then, all of my English learning vanished into the into thin air. It was. Miraculous. If you want your brain brain to stop working, enter the Korean military service. <laughs> However, after many twists and turns, my military life came to an end. After which, I ventured to China to study another foreign language for two years. At last, I entered the university. All in all, I did not befriend be friend English for six years, which made me so worried. I wonder how I can succeed if I have forgotten my English skills, such as vocabulary, grammar, writing, speaking, and listening. Then I realized, then I realized my fears are utterly ground groundless. Uh, my purpose is to improve my speaking skills. Mm. And having my tutors who have passion in teaching made me gain com confidence every day. They motivate me, and as time passed by, this motivation broadened my outlook in my life. Uh, in my opinion, writing is more difficult than speaking. Right? <laughs> In speaking, minor mistakes are to total labor. On the other hand, writing is more strict when it comes to mistakes. The former emphasizes the ability to communicate, and the latter requires logic. In addition, writing calls for many years of uh, practice, but speaking is a short period of this is an uh, ordinary situation, it's not my case. Uh, but both skills demand years of uh, practice and patience in order for you to gain complete fluency. My CNC life taught me how to balance study and play. At some point, some students rationalize their behavior and keeping the balance is not as easy as it seems. To keep back on track, our main objective is to improve our English English skills. So in my case, from Monday to Friday, I focused on my English. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, on weekends, on weekend, I travel with my friend and I have leisure time. I believe that some activities such as traveling can motivate us to study English harder as it widens our perspective. 
In addition, it provides us a chance to apply what we are learning in the four walls of our CNC rooms. Enjoy, have fun, do extraordinary stuff, but never forget why you are here. Sometimes I forget this. <laughs> <laughs> In my memory, Illuilu will always be there. And I spend the perfect time in CNC and I gained a lot of lovely friends and tutors. Uh, Angie, Winnie, Florina, Hazel, just uh, Mike and James. Oh, only one. <laughs> I want uh, I want to waste my time and more when I go back to Korea or China. I will continue my English studies and my heartfelt grat gratitude to my family and tutors uh, for this wonderful opportunity. And thanks you guys for lending me your eyes. <laughs> I have. <laughs> in front. Well, I'm just curious. In front. In front. <laughs> I'm just curious because you said that you stopped for two years, right? Before. Before. After you finished school, you stopped for two years. Yeah. I was just curious. What was that university that you were trying to enter into? It's like you stopped for two years because you you failed the two entrance exams. What was that university? University entrance exam. The name of the university. Yeah. What was there? All oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, universities you failed, like a particular university. Yeah, I already um, already entered entered another university, but I don't want. I, I want another university, so I try to study again for you. <laughs> so two years oh. prepared. Uh, entrance, entrance, exam. <laughs> we have no choice. Entrance. What, what you want? So you failed in every school that you went to twice? Wow. Amazing. Anyways, uh, yeah, thank you. Yes, thank you for answering. I was just curious. I failed. Yeah, you failed. It's okay. Uh, for you to win, you have to fail sometimes. Mm. <laughs> That's for the final time. Yes, congratulations. Thank you.